Well, OK. David Avella joins us now. All right, David, are Democrats worried about losing the Jewish vote? Uh, no, Stuart. Uh, you know, the reality is 74 <clears> percent <throat> of Americans are following what's going on in the Middle East. Every decision President Biden makes is going to impact how voters feel about him. Uh, now, to the congresswoman's comments, Michigan has the sixth largest Arab American population in the country. It is a swing state. Uh, if you get Bobby Kennedy on the ballot, if you get Cornell West on the ballot, all of those start chipping away at President Biden in a state that he must win. So by in itself, would it cost him re-election? Probably not. But you put all those factors together. Well, let's go to for a second to the 74 percent Americans who are following this war. The reality is the defense authorization bill has been sitting in the Senate since July. The border security funding bill that the House Republicans passed has been sitting in the Senate. And yet Chuck Schumer sits there and will not pass the bill on two areas that are critical to, for Americans right now, whether it be the border or whether it be our Defense Department. Tell the Senate to move the bill. OK, next one. Mike Pence dropped out of the 2024 race. You know that. Donald Trump thinks Pence should endorse him. Roll it. You know, people are leaving now and they're all endorsing me. I don't know about Mike Pence. He should endorse me. He should endorse me. You know why? Because, because I had a great, successful presidency and he was the vice president. He should endorse me. Uh, I chose him, made him vice president. Well, I don't know whether Pence is going to endorse Trump. I don't know. But I want to, my reading of the GOP candidates is that the number of them is shrinking. And it is Nikki Haley and Ron DeSantis who lead the pack behind Trump. You argue with that? Well, when you're up 30 points, Stuart, the reality is you don't need any of your rivals to endorse you. And the last time in my 30 year career, I can't ever think of a time where a candidate has wanted their opponents to endorse someone else. So he is clearly in the front runner seat here. And while Haley and DeSantis are, do have favorable ratings in those states, the reality is they're still down 30 points about who people are going to actually vote for. And until they get a clear, concise message like Donald Trump had in 2020, when he said he was going to build the wall, he was going to create jobs, and he was going to take on the swamp, until they get a message that is that clear to Republican voters, he's going to remain at 30 percent up. I think we just lost some audio there. Uh, can you hear me, David? I think you can. Are you a Trump guy? I can hear you now. Are you a Trump guy? I'm, I'm, I've, I've, yeah, Stuart, I've been on with you many a times defending the policies of the president. And, and, uh, and if he's our nominee, we're going to be going in strong with policies that uh, Republicans favor. All right. David Avella, thanks for being here. We'll see you again real soon.